Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to do this makeup tutorial and I hope that this looks like an alien for you guys because that was the intention. So if you like this one, if you want to know more about my work, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to smash that notification bell so you can get notified every single time that I upload a video. And during this month, I will try to upload every single Wednesday and Saturdays. That's the goal. Um, it's not 100% like sure, but I will try it uh, my best. So that's why you need to have that notification bell. Smash it so you don't miss any one of my video and you get notified. So without any more introduction, let's start with this one. See you at the end. Bye. First, I'm going to use this makeup wipe to wet my brows, my eyebrows. Basically trying to wet them so it will be easy to stick them to the skin. Then I'm going to add a little bit of Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And again, the, the purpose is to stick them to the skin. And finally, I'm going to use my glue stick. And basically, the purpose is to create a smooth surface over the brows. Now using a small brush like the Sigma L06, um, I'm going to trace the face of the alien. In this case, the eyes must be as symmetrical as possible. Now that the eyes are defined, I'm going to define the face. These are the moments where if you have a big forehead, they are sometimes good. So I have a huge one. I'm going to use the whole thing. I'm going to remove that from there. I don't have a cap, but if you have a cap, use it because that will improve your um, design. I want to change the shape of my mouth just to have fun. Now I'm going to mimic my neck. I like, you know that the aliens has like a really long neck. Unfortunately, my camera do not allow me to show a lot in the frame. So I will try to do my face to show as much as I can or do as much as I can. I like to do this part of the chest and the neck looking at a mirror. I'm trying to do not block the camera. With my mirror. The body is really small, so I'm going to try to draw the body like really like small. I'm tiny. I'm 
sorry that I cannot show everything. Now I'm going to add this hairnet to the face as low as I can. Uh, using water, I'm going to wet all this um, water face paint and I'm going to start with the green. Now I'm going to use the yellow color. Try to overlap a little bit that green color. Now I'm going to use the orange color. Add water. And just take a beauty blender. If you have small beauty blender, they are better than these big ones. At least for this type of um, work. And I think that the last color that I'm going to use is this um, pinkish color. And remember to overlap with all the areas because then you will like cover everything with black. Everything that is black with black and you don't want to see like this part when you take this off. I think that I'm going to use one more color and that one is the purple. Now I'm going to try to do the same thing in the neck. Now I'm going to add the black color all over the areas that I want to subtract from the design. And I'm going to use big brushes for the big areas and small brushes for the small areas or the areas that I want to have more definition and more be more careful. Just taking the design of the arms. Now I'm going to use a Sigma E15 for the details. Now I'm going to do my eyes for the eyes.
And if you were asking why um, I didn't cover my brows like I did in other makeup tutorials, it's because I'm I will be covering them with black, so you don't need to use foundation or skin color base to cover your brows in this case. I am taking, oh my God. I think that I'm going to use the purple color, this purple eyeshadow from Meron. To make um, dot shadows. Remember that the shadows are the key of every design. If you don't add shadows, the design will look flat. So if you don't want your design to look flat, you must learn how to use shadows. I'm just adding highlighter there just to make my nose look really thin. You can do this with black but I prefer to use this Maroon White Highlighter that will add like dimension to the design too. Maybe you need to go um, after and add more black to your eyes, but it's okay. Sometimes you add something to the design and you like that so much that you need to like update everything. So I'm going to update the nose too because I'm going to cover this too. I like that color that it gives to the design. It looks more futuristic. And at the end, just go back with the black and use um, eyeshadow, black eyeshadow to set those um, black colors. So this is just black eyeshadow. I'm just adding this design to the forehead again adding details that makes your design more real 
this doesn't have any specific shape just use your imagination now i'm going to add this um metallic powder Just trying to create more um, defined shadows. Now using a Sigma E11, I'm going to redefine the lips. Now I'm going to use this to Jeffree Star Cosmetic Liquid Lipstick. First I'm going to apply the green. And then I'm going to apply the yellow. I'm going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. A14, which is one of my number one brushes for all kind of makeup. And just blend in this. Now I'm going to add the yellow to the center. And again, blend it with the green. I'm going to add more of that metallic powder in the center of where I added the shadows in the chest and the neck. I think that I'm going to hide my nose. Now I am adding a little bit of this Ben Nye Green Base Face Paint. guys i hope that you like this one i hope that you learned something and if you like it don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video with your friends so you can help me to grow this channel and this is all see you in the next one have a beautiful place and happy week bye